Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to bless your name. Thank you for another moment of truth in your presence. And set our times in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the past editions of this program. Thank you for bringing us together once again today. On this very platform, the moment of truth. And set our times in the mighty name of Jesus unto you. We've come once again today, and I pray that in your word today, you will bless us greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. Now our life will change for the better in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Once again, I want to welcome you into another edition of the Moment of Truth in His Presence. In the name of God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Today, by His grace, we move to part two of our series on the wise men. So the theme of our message today is the wise men, part two. The wise men, part two. Our principal test remains the same. The first one, Matthew chapter 2, 1 to 3. Matthew chapter 2, 1 to 3, I read. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Pharaoh the king, behold, there came wise men from the east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born? King of the Jews. For you have seen his star in the east, and I come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled. And all Jerusalem with him. The second reading, Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. I read. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wrath, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coast thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquire of the wise men. Once again, this is a very important passage in the Bible. One of the most important passages in the Bible. The passage that gave the details of what happened when Jesus was born. Among other things, when Jesus was born, there were three wise men from the east. They saw the star of Jesus. And they labored, they traveled for two years to locate Jesus. And they came to worship him. And they gave him precious gifts. Gold, mint, and then frankincense. And they worship him. But on their way to where Jesus was born, the branch at the palace of Herod, with all joy, they announced to Herod that a new king has been born, and we saw the star. And we have been on the journey for almost two years now, tracing where the child was born. Herod pretended as if he was happy. He told the wise man, go and locate the child. Come back to me, let him know where the child was born so I can go and also worship him. And it was a lie. He wanted to go and kill the child. He thought it within himself that another king is born, we're going to be mighter than me, he said, no way. May I pray for somebody now? Anyone that says you will not rise. Anyone that says your glory will not rise and shine. Anyone that says your star will not rise and shine. Anyone that is laboring day and night to destroy you. May God arrest, deal with them, and silence them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said, in part one of our series on the wise men, we have two groups of people here. 
in this passage, the first group of people were the wise men, the three wise men. They saw the star of Jesus and they came to worship him. And they gave him gifts. Three precious gifts. Gold, mind, and then frankincense. The second group of people happened to be Herod and his killer servants. Because when they discovered, because God warned the three wise men, after they saw Jesus, after they worshipped him, after they gave him gifts, God warned them, don't go through the way you came. Go to another way so that error will not see you. And when error discovered that uh, the three wise men escaped, they didn't return to him. You know what he did? He gave instruction, a very disruptive instruction, that every child born from age of one to two years old, every son, every male child born, should be killed. Because the wise men told him, when they feasted him, that the child was born about two years ago, because they have been tracing the staff for almost two years. The wise men had, sorry, the wise men saw the star of Jesus. They were happy. And they lived at for two years to come to worship him. They worship him, they celebrate him. They, they celebrated him and then they gave him gifts. But Herod had a born the, the child and he wanted to kill the child. In life today, like I said on that part on this series, in our life today, we also have these two people, these two group of people, the wise men, those that want to do anything to make sure that we are there. Those that can go extra mind to discomfort themselves in order for us to be comforted. Those who will labor and toil to make sure that we are promoted in life. Those are the wise men. May I pray for myself as somebody who is hearing me now. Wherever you are hearing me in any nation of the world, in any continent of the world where you are hearing me now, I pray that wise men, those that we arise and go extra mile to fight for you, to see to your promotion and elevation, to work for your comfort wherever they are located. May God bless you with them in the name of Jesus. May God surround you with them in the name of Jesus. And I pray at the same time, every error in your life, those that we hear about your promotion, they will not be happy. And they want to work for your demotion. Those that go extra mile on the negative side to make sure that you don't rise in life. May God dislodge them from you. May God separate you from them in the mighty name of Jesus. You better say a louder amen. Now I want to look at some major highlights. The three wise men came to announce the star of Jesus. That's number one. They came to announce the star of Jesus. But Herod moved to renounce the star of Jesus. To announce someone's star is to honor such a fellow. May I pray for somebody today. Everyone that come around you to announce your star, to honor your star, to announce your glory. I pray that my God will bless you with them all in the name of Jesus. Everyone will be happy seeing you rising. Everyone will go and tell everybody about your new glory. Everyone that will organize occasion of praises for you. May God bless you with some people in the mighty name of Jesus. And look at error there. Why the wise men came to announce the star to Herod. Herod moved to denounce the star. To denounce someone's star 
is to deny his existence. He said, no way. There can't be another star apart from my own star. There can't be another king apart from me, the king. He moved to renounce or to denounce, as the case may be, the star of Jesus. To deny his existence. To say, no way. And he decided to kill the star. Regrettably, he succeeded in killing innocent children. But Jesus can never be killed. I pray for you today, you that is listening to me. Everyone that is planning to renounce your star, to denounce your star, may God arrest them and deal with them all in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will bless you with individuals who will labor so much to announce your glory to the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, the three wise men came to hate the star of Jesus. They came to hate the star of Jesus. To hate the star of Jesus is to praise the person of Jesus. Yes. To praise the person of Jesus. You know, when somebody does something that is very good or outstanding, when somebody just pass his or examination, when somebody just succeeded in one election, when somebody just secure a pleasant job, when somebody just got a go in life, what do you do? You hate the person. You hate the person. So the wise man came to hate the star of Jesus. To hate Jesus. I pray for everyone hearing me today that everyone that you need to come together to hate you, to applaud you, to celebrate your promotion and elevation, honestly and faithfully, may God bless you with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen. Why the wise man came to hail the star of Jesus? Herod, on the other hand, moved to nay the star of Jesus. These people, they operate against our life today. In our life today, we have people who will be ready to hail us, hail us, hail us, hail us, hail us. At the same time, we have people that are ready to nail us, to destroy us with their mouth, to, to destroy us, to nail us with their petition, to nail us by telling lying against us, to nail us by conspiring against us. I decree today, everyone that is planning to nail you, to nail your glory, to nail your star, may God arrest them and nail them in return in the name of Jesus. We know what happened in the book of Esther. Hama moved to nail Mordecai. To hang him. To execute him. But the same gallo he erected to nail Mordecai was the same gallo that the king commanded that he should be need. That Emma should be need. He erected a gallow for Mordecai to be need. But at the end of the day, it was that same gallow that was used to name him. Him. I pray for you today. What God did in the life of Mordecai by naming the enemy that planned to name him. May God repeat that same miracle in your life also in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone planning to name you. May God name them himself in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone planning to destroy you, to destroy your star. 
May God destroy them also in the name of Jesus. And may you be celebrated in the name of Jesus. You better say a louder amen. So to hear someone is to give that individual a higher honor, to praise him, to elevate him. To name someone to do is to move to keep that person, to silence the person. So everyone that is planning to silence you, may God silence them in the name of Jesus. Everyone that God will use to hate you, to hate me, to hate us, may God divinely arrange them to cross our path in the name of Jesus. Everyone that will come together to hate us, may God arrange them for us in the name of Jesus. And may God bless us with them in the name of Jesus. You better say louder, amen. Number three, the wise men came to promote the star of Jesus because it was then that announced the star of Jesus. Announcing the star of Jesus means that they were promoting the star of Jesus. But Herod moved to demote the star. The wise men moved to promote the star of Jesus while Herod moved to demote the star of Jesus. To promote is to bring into the limelight. To bring somebody from obscurity into the limelight. I pray for somebody today that operates in obscurity through this message. My God will take you into the limelight in the name of Jesus and you shall become like a city that is set upon the hill whose glory can never be hid in the name of Jesus. You better say a bright and a loud Amen. Now, anyone planning to demote you to demote your destiny, to demote your glory, to demote your star. The way God demoted Amen, may God demote them all in the name of Jesus. You better say a louder Amen. So the wise men, they came to promote the star of Jesus, to tell everybody, oh, a king has been born, a king of kings has been born, the Lord of Lords has been born. I pray for somebody today, that those people that also come together to promote your destiny, to promote your star, to promote your family, wherever they are located around the globe, may God bless you, may God bless me with some people in the name of Jesus. Everyone that you labor and toy to promote, to, to work for promotion, may God bless us we saw people in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at this wise man. They labor and toil for two years. They offer for the star of Jesus to be promoted to the whole world to see that a king has been born. But look at Herod. He heard about the star and he moved to demote the star. But he feed. I pray today that everyone moving to demote you with faith in the name of Jesus. Everyone planning to demote you with faith in the name of Jesus. We can remember the case of the brethren of uh, Joseph. They also moved to demote the glory, the star of Joseph. They say, no way. The glory of Joseph can never rise. He can never shine. His star can never rise and shine. But we knew what happened. At the end of the day, they were put to shame. I pray for myself. I pray for somebody today hearing me. Everyone that is working towards your demotion, may God demote them and may God promote you over and above them, even and their children from generation to generation. May you be above you and your children in the mighty name of Jesus. You better say a louder Amen. My prayer today for myself and for somebody hearing me is, is that God will connect us to everyone that will labor so hard for a promotion to be effected in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, the last point, number four. The three wise men came to settle the star of Jesus. They came to settle the star of Jesus. But Herod moved to unsettle the star of Jesus. But he faded. The three wise men came to settle the star of Jesus. They came to give Jesus pleasant gifts. Pleasant gifts. They came 
to settle Jesus with pleasant gift. I want all to read it together. The book of Matthew. Chapter number 2. Let's take it from verse 10, verse 10 and 11. Matthew chapter 2, 10 and 11. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming into the house, they saw the young child with Mary's mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and then mine. Gold, frankincense and then mine. They said to Jesus with precious gift. Number one, gold. They said to Jesus with gold. Number two, they said to Jesus with frankincense. Number three, they said to Jesus with mine. I pray for somebody today. Everyone that you come around do to say to you with money. May God bring them to your domain, to your life, to your family, to your ministry in the name of Jesus. Everyone that will come to settle you with material things, may God bring them close to you in the name of Jesus. Everyone that you be connected with, through which you be blessed spiritually, may God connect you with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that will come into your life and they will settle you in every area of your need, may God arrange them to meet with you and may God arrange you to meet with them in the name of Jesus, you better say a very loud and clear Amen. So they came to settle, to settle Jesus by giving him precious gifts. To settle means to give us something that we needed. That is how to settle somebody. So years ago, one of my daughter and the Lord came to visit me in our home in Western Nigeria. And when she was going, I asked her, when will you go back to school? And she, it was January of that year. And she said, she doesn't know because her sister was yet to say to her. And I can understand it. I pray for somebody today, everyone that need to come around and say to you, wherever they may be now, may God Almighty call them to meet with you and then to say to you before it is too late in the name of Jesus you better say a loud amen first Peter chapter 5 verse 10 first Peter chapter 5 verse 10 is one of my precious passage in the Bible I love that passage so dearly first Peter chapter 5 verse 10 you see, but the grace, but the God of all grace, who us unto eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that, you are suffered a while, we make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and say to you. You see, after that, somebody has suffered a while. Suffering a while may be, your suffering may be for 10 years, 20 years, 5 years, 5 months. I pray for you. Irrespective of number of years that you are suffering in life, suffering in sickness, Suffer in bandage, suffer in barrenness, suffer in poverty, in penury. I pray that today, today, through this message, my God will say to you, in the name of Jesus, He will say to you with healing, in the name of Jesus, He will say to you with fruitfulness, in the name of Jesus, He will say to you with new job, in the name of Jesus, He will say to you with new spouse, in the name of Jesus, He will say to you with new mobility in the name of Jesus. It will set to you with new apartment in the name of Jesus. It will set to you with new miracles in the name of Jesus. It will set to you with new testimonies in the name of Jesus. It will set to you with new honor in the name of Jesus. It will set to you with new promotion in the name of Jesus. It will set to you with new elevation in the name of Jesus. If you agree with me, you better say, Amen. Of course, it will say to you and say to me with new connection and our life will never, never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. So the wise men came to say to Jesus with precious gifts. But then Herod moved to unsettle Jesus, but he faded. I pray for somebody today that is listening to me now. Everyone 
moving or planning or working to unsettle to you in life, they will fail. I said they will fail because Herod failed to unsettle to Jesus. So everyone moving to unsettle to you will also fail in the name of Jesus. And the Lord we have mercy on you in the name of Jesus. To settle is to grant us our heart desire. What is your heart desire? My God is here today to settle us. He is here today to settle us by granting us that our heart desire. The Almighty God that visited the family of Mr. and Mrs. Abraham to settle. That is Father Abraham and Mama Sarah. Almighty God that visited them to settle them. He will visit you in this new season in your home. He will visit you to settle you in the name of Jesus. You better say a louder amen. Now it is time to pray. It is time to pray. But before we pray, let me say something. If you are here today, hearing me, in any nation of the world where you are hearing me, you will still commit sin. God cannot say to you with wise men. God cannot arrange wise men for you in your sin. You better decide today to confess your sin wherever you are now. It doesn't matter. Maybe you are on a journey, you are driving, or you are sitting at home, or you are doing something, but you are hearing me, you better start to confess your sin now. Tell him, Lord God Almighty, I am a sinner. I can't remember every sin that I've committed to date in life, but then, comprehensively, I am a sinner. Forgive me my sin. Write my name in the book of life. The grace to God, sin, Father, please give unto me. Let us pray. Pray, pray. He is a faithful God. He will forgive you your sin. In the name of Jesus. Your sin may be the reason for your sovereign. You better pray. Anywhere you are hearing me now, across the nation of the world, just pray. Oh God, forgive me my sin. In the name of Jesus. And ask him to forgive you and write your name in the book of life. Then the great to God and no more. Ask him, he will give you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, now we want to pray. Our prayer is very simple. We are going to pray that, oh God, settle me with wise men. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, say to me with wise men in the name of Jesus. Say to me with wise men in the name of Jesus. The wise men that we announce my star. The wise men that we hear my star. The wise men that we promote my star. The wise men that we say to my star. That we say to me. Say to me. Say to me with this wise men in the name of Jesus. Say to me, O oh God with wise men in the name of Jesus and pray again oh God disconnect me finally from error in the name of Jesus put every error that operates against my settlement to shame in the name of Jesus you put error to shame over the baby Jesus my father my God put every error of my life to shame they that are planning for my downfall put them to shame put them to shame why you say to me, put them to shame. In the name of Jesus. Put every error in my life to shame. In the name of Jesus. Any error that has been rising against me, even in the future, put them to shame. As they are rising against me, in one way, let them be falling in a thousand ways. Put them to shame. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, my Father, my God, I want to bless your name. Thank you once again for this moment of truth in your presence. I set our times in Jesus' name. All we are saying today is, oh God, everyone planning our downfall. Lord God Almighty, work for the undownfall in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone planning to demote our star. Demote them also in the name of Jesus. Everyone planning to unset to us. Unset to them also in the name of Jesus. And my Father, my God, I pray today. You bless us with wise men. The wise men that you come around it. To work for our promotion. Father, please say to us with these wise men in the name of Jesus. The wise men that will come around to celebrate us, to announce our star. Father, please say to us with these wise men in the name of Jesus. The wise men that will come around to work for our settlement. Now, my Father, my God, please say to us with these wise men in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. 
I pray, oh God, in case you tarry so God, bring God together on this platform. But in case you are paying glory, Lord God Almighty, before the next edition of this program, my Father, my God, myself, and everyone listening to me today, make us to be rationable in the name of Jesus. Any sin or anything in our life, as the case may be, that can make us not to be rationed. At the time of the rush of that, please forgive us even right now in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy cut us worthy of the rush in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, and blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Once again, let somebody shout hallelujah.